and a one and a two and a <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Always with the intros. Right. <laughs> if you want to hear any more laughter. <laughs> this dude's really something, huh? He loves doing those intros. Sensational, inspirational, commentational, commentary. It is me, the one, the only, the black guy, the legend, the myth, <laughs> the great and the powerful Kansa Cheese Entertainment. <laughs> and welcome to another commentary. How you doing? Hope you're doing fine. Hope you're doing great. Hope your day's going well. So, as you know, today, as the video is being uploaded, yes. Well, it's being recorded. It's like the 16th of May. But yes. as this video is uploaded, it is the 17th of May. So just pretend it's the 17th of May, which is <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese's 46th anniversary. Jesus Christ, can we get a round of applause? Yeah! Yeah! 46! I know! Yes! 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 Yeah. <laughs> and as the old Chuck Meister would say, Chucky's getting old. <laughs> <laughs> so, in honor of the 46th anniversary of fun with this lovable rat character, we're going to go down and do a little commentary on the most controversial song in CEC history. Every boy, every girl, 2017. And I know what you guys might be thinking. Charles, why are you not doing the 97 version or the 2000 version? Because this is where Joe sleaze into the 2017 version. Mm -hmm. And plus, you're thinking about doing a topic about, like, all oh, those versions again, which is, like, a topic I've done before, but uh, that's, like, another time story. Yes. But anyway... And as let you guys know, I'm gonna make jokes where I can in some parts of the song, which is surprisingly shocking how I still remember some parts of it. But um, also, just a little non-sponsor because we don't get paid here enough for this stuff. Oh. Um, this, let me just get the book. Unpaid here. sponsor. But, um, so... Just to let you all know, if you want to learn more history about the story of Chuck E. Cheese, well, I got the book for you. The story of Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, let me turn on the lights. <laughs> the story of Chuck E. Cheese. This is how it all started. So, if you want to read this book... Well, you can get it for your local dollar store for three hundred ninety nine 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 nine. But it's on eBay. It's price oh. You guys put a price on these books, so it's pretty cool. So I will include this in a future video. But yes. Let me put, place the book back in its regular home spot. <laughs> turn off the lights and uh, yeah, let's get into this commentary here. Uh, yeah, America let's get it. 20s. 17. Are you guys ready? You know I'm ready. Anyway, let's cue it. Yeah, let's get it. And, by the way, yes, this is Plano for those who uh, <laughs> remember. Or yeah, we starting smooth at Plano. <laughs> That's a colorful screen you're in, Chucky. Life is 
it's like a scrapbook. Memories on every page. You look back at laughter and you'll never feel your age. Plus, <laughs> I like Chuck Chucky. You don't know how old you are because the restaurants are 46. And you're just a zero number. There's a reason why I'm saying that, but don't say it in here. But uh, let's continue. Yes. Now, I've been thinking lately about all those years ago. For the oh, past shoot. 40 years, because this came out of 2017, we're going to say 40. Yeah, <laughs> you've been thinking on a lot of things, pal. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm, I'm surprised you're still around over after all these years. What brought us all together? For this very special show! Okay, y'all. This is where it gets controversial and where everything goes so hold a plot twist. <laughs> you guys ready? Because you guys know I am. Yeah, let's get it. gentlemen this is mm -hmm. where the storyline really switch up everything as you can see chucky mm -hmm. is a <laughs> orphan that's right there chucky we go is a <laughs> orphan from saint mary's orphanage chucky is a orphan yeah which, he's an orphan I mean, it was kind of like okay i don't know why they thought it was a cool idea to do that to chucky poor chucky first of all maybe his parents <laughs> got killed maybe they pulled a meet the robinsons and then you know somebody or his parents like left him by the door stuff and then someone just like carry take him in and you know i i really do not know chucky's background story who his parents were i mean you can obviously say that. nobody yeah, knows chucky chucky's real I parents shows and this and that. But, but this is rockstar chucky yeah this is rockstar not have parents. Well, in this universe, he doesn't have parents, but, but you know. Yeah. That's a whole nother subject for no, uh, no, a uh, whole nother day. But, yes, yeah, that's a whole nother story. And that's, that's, you know, yeah, I feel sorry for the guy, but, okay. Continue. Yeah. Continuing. A bus to New York City. Yep, he is headed for New York City, Broadway. The lights, the theater, you already know. Right before there was a thing called Hollywood, all these people are trying to make it out in Broadway because <laughs> Manhattan was the was the thing back then and Chucky was no more proud to be up in New York. Rabbit T Rabbit? Found a place that served great pizza ordered one with extra cheese. This is not how the story originally went, actually. But hmm. the story originally went now nah, I'm I'm gonna scream when we get to him. Yeah. By a funny chef with a mustache. It's Pasquale. Hey, Pasquale. Hey, hey. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about you, mustache man. Hey, no, <laughs> mustache. I, I, you know, I do. I get a huge prop credit to the to the animators who animated these scenes. Actually, they did a great job. But tell me why Pasquale looks like a mix of black and uh, Indian. Low key though, hmm. why the f did she look kind of mix of black and Indian? <laughs> I mean, yes, yeah, supposed to be Italian. I get that, but like, yeah, you know, I mean, he's Italian. What, what was the what was the writers? I mean, the writers, the animators were thinking when they were making this. The artist, Pasquale, you know, like. Like, are you are you trying to make him black? Are you trying to make him in the oh. <laughs> no ratio? But, but I mean, okay. But hey, he got extra cheese. He wants some of that more cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that I got you. <laughs> and, and the puppet Pasquale came in. These young children, these poor babies do not deserve to get get a joke here and there. Yeah. I'm just gonna let them have their fun inside the store. Yes. I mean, for goodness sake, the Spare kids the now kids. are featuring these videos for CEC. They're getting paid in freaking Happy Meals, and I feel sorry <laughs> for them. <laughs> oh, Pasquale! <laughs> <laughs> My boy, you like look down at your shotgun! <laughs> what are you looking at me for? With your ugly, nah, with your beautiful mustache. Why do you only have one teeth? Pasquale, <laughs> did you comb your hair with the spike up hair all over your freaking place? Why are you looking white now, but in the drawing you look black and an Indian? Pasquale, are you really Italian? 
Italian. Please let me know. I know your ears can hear me. I so know well. for dang sure he is, in fact, with Italian. Shape, looking hair, whatever shape it is, look like a damn shape, like a like a rhombus or something. Yeah, you're rhombus type head. <laughs> God. <sighs> Let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're playing ski ball. That's cute. So in this case, kids can do whatever they want in Chuck E. Cheese, guys. You yes. Know, they, yeah, they, they found a place for them to laugh and sing and play, but hey, guess what? They can do whatever they please. Okay. Yes. <laughs> kids, let's go sit out of Chuck E. Cheese because you can do whatever they want you please. That's Chuck E. Cheese for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I vibe. Understand how the heck is Chucky always? You know what? Never mind. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, mm. Pasquale out here in the bankrupt era, bro. Oh. I mean, Pasquale, he got the bills passed due. What is he doing wrong? Oh. Pasquale, I understand. The adult life is the most struggling era we all gotta face. Thankfully, some of you in here are still kids, but. God, I feel sorry for you, bro. But hey, low key, mm. actually, I like this little reference that they also pulled in with the um um the Pizza Time Theater bankruptcy. <sighs> um, sorry, I was looking at a message. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, it's right from January '95, actually. Oh. So. My bad. That was the um. The Pizza Time Theater's bankruptcy situation. Continuing. There we go. This is when he created the ghost kitchen during the pandemic era. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Okay, Loki, no, I don't understand. Like I said, uh, so the story behind this actually is mm -hmm. that. Um, so basically, the story behind this is Chucky sneaking to Pasquale's kitchen, right? Okay, yeah. It's in the book, too, by the way. And Pasquale almost killed Chucky. So instead <laughs> of, you know, saying, hey, he almost got killed by Pasquale, this is a kid's show, by the way, keep that in mind. Yes. Chucky didn't approach it. You know what? Maybe he did. I don't know. But, 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 look, 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 look. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go over here talking about this freaking lore. But yeah, best girl, he offered Chucky a job of singing because. Why the heck not? The only song he could sing was Happy Birthday, which was referenced in the book as well. I'm telling you, this, this I mean, this, the Happy Birthday song was right Chucky's and favorite. You know, these kids, I don't know who the birthday person is. Probably a little black, uh, black boy. <laughs> I, I would say something, and I knew for a fact it would kind of sound racial, uh, racist in a way, but I'm not going to say what I want to say because, hey, no racial. This is a family family show, okay? Yeah. But, At the what? same time, it depends on I your family. I don't know where this little kid is. Maybe it's the two boys. Maybe it's that young girl. Maybe it's the boy that has the birthday cake. Maybe it's my homie right there with, you know, with the alpha hair. Maybe it's his <laughs> birthday. How old is he? Mm. Seven? Seven? Okay, happy birthday, bro. I mean, it's <laughs> birthday. So bring up Pasquale's. Let's, let's go. Okay, cool. Anyway. Continuing. <laughs> Dreams are about to oh, come God. true. That film theory made or film theory made and i mean you're a goat but <laughs> no, it's just a theory a film theory or food theory whatever you guys want to consider it as but you know what i'm talking about my boy chucky looking at those keys like he never seen keys before <laughs> he was so freaking surprised <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese, but you know what? Forget it. This man really 
Bruno, you still got his sign for Chucky's sign? Let's go, but that shows their partnership too. You know what? I'm just gonna save this all for a later video, so stay tuned for that. That's <sighs> yes, all I can say right now, but stay tuned for that future. Yeah, Dishon says oh, Pasquale is Italian. The up a minute. I'm still working on it. But anyway, mm. I continuing. Welcome to Tennessee! Jeez, man, the van's jumping! <laughs> the van's got bunnies! In front of a farm, but we made a new friend that day. They met King! They met King! This <laughs> is the best story ever! It's all fun and games until they meet King. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> There's yes, King. there he oh, is! Glorious there's King Doge! Jesus Christ. Oh, another thing too, I, I, I don't, well, some of y'all might remember this, but some mm. of these kids were actually in the same scene, or no, same music video, my bad, and uh, Chucky's place for 2017, if I remembers like some of the kids, oh. like here oh. or there. Excuse me. Oh my god! I know! I I was not gonna talk about these kids! Lord forgive me, all these damn happy meals are paying now! But little girl! Y'all, why are your mouth open like that? Is this the photo booth? <laughs> yeah, I think it's the photo Please, booth. Please, close your mouth. <laughs> close your mouth. Please. That's all I'm saying. Why did they put this in the music video? Why did they film this part? Let the girl be. Why? There's other scenes and there were kids. But this is the only scene they think, oh, hey, this is pretty good. We can add this part in. But I feel sorry. I really do. I feel sorry for making a joke about it and feeling bad for this girl mm. and her parents. Because if they had walked into Chuck E. Cheese during this time or seen on the YouTube video, they seen a video or a clip of this. This is not right. <laughs> Like, really, though, why Why they thought it was a good idea? Really, that's like, why? <laughs> you know that was going to be on YouTube. You know you're going to put in the edit. Like, did they just really have to regret their life decisions for it or something? Like, God, <laughs> Lee, come on. <laughs> anyway, let's stop looking at this little girl before I, uh, I'm feeling bad now because of what I'm saying. Oh, well, it's for that game thing. Okay, well. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. One shot. My man said one shot. Okay, he's going to the NBA. Mm -mm -mm. Look out now. <laughs> okay, King. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> this scene here, kind of like, okay, for some reason, it, it kind of like. It just ticks me off. It runs me off the wrong way. Because as you guys may know, Jasper originally played the banjo in the group. Right. You know, he originally played the banjo. And then once, like, country vacation rolled around, he played the bass, I mean, the guitar, not bass guitar. <laughs> but yeah, I just hate how this storyline... Like, really, really, I, I do not like the storyline. I know what everybody's saying right now, but hear me out. <laughs> I just hate how they don't acknowledge the fact that he doesn't play the banjo, and he's, like, known playing the bass guitar, which is, you know, not a bad thing. He also played, like, electric guitar. If you listen back to every other show takes that have him playing electric guitar, yep. I just wish they actually, you know, they got the banjo on the porch, right? The banjo's on the porch. I just wish they... They really gave yeah, that banjo is like, one Easter egg. Jasper made that debut. Um, it's just like, wow, I, I don't know why they're making him having the bass guitar, which is great that you're having the bass guitar and Chucky play the electric guitar, but no, no, that's not right. To me, it's yeah. not right. You know, they both play the guitar in the group. Bass or electric doesn't freaking matter. You know, they're both mm -hmm. the guitarists, along with Helen, but she's not really a guitarist anymore. Right. Sincere, we don't consider it, but <laughs> yeah, 
why. I just don't know why they, they thought about that because, you know, look back at the history, kids, not this lore because this lore does not make any sense. It's just company <laughs> lore of what they're doing. Like, history says that Jasper played the banjo because he was a country dog. So just, just saying, just saying. I mean, look, look at the facts, but anyway. Continuing. Which, you know, the artwork is pretty good, too, as well. I love the artwork again. Whoever did this, I hope they got a good raise after this project. I told them, you're alone. My Uncle Jed's a mechanic. I'm Uncle a Jed. I like this artwork, too. Like, for some reason, this oh. looks so great. Like, Chucky's shaking both of his hands with Jasper. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. I guess he was, like, so freaking excited because, like, oh, God, it's another guitar. It's like, I am God. I got so excited. And this is how you know the friendship <laughs> growed between these two pals. And this is just more exciting than ever. Chucky was, like, really happy to meet Jasper. <laughs> and then so again, like, you got to love this chemistry this between right these here. two. This is the start of a beautiful friendship. Yes. Just, just letting y'all know. It all starts with a rat abusing the damn dog, telling him to <laughs> shut up, turn him off, and you know what Jasper said? After all the insults you gave to me after for 46 years, I still got your back. I'm still your band best friend, or mouse best friend, and <laughs> I never quit the band. So you already know that this scene <laughs> and the rest of the 46 histories going on, that these guys still have a very strong friendship and a very strong bond. Yes. That's theirs, actually, shit. You know? That's good. That's actually good. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that's the thing, too. I know, like, people say, like, Uncle Jed, too. I don't... We haven't really heard much about what Uncle Jed. <laughs> but I'm glad that Josh took out the mechanic stuff from his uncle as well. Mm-hmm. You know, but, uh... Anyway. Shake my paw. I said, we could use a bass guitarist. Why don't you come along? Oh my god. Alright, then we got the... Oh, good. I, okay, you know what? <laughs> I love this little reference right here as well that they also pointed out. Because you see here, yes. Chucky, he got his checker vest. Which, yes. of course, that came later on, like the late 80s, 82, 83-ish. And, of course, you got the Pasquale with the accordion squeeze box as well. It, it mm -hmm. should have a banjo, but, but that's besides the point. You know, Chucky's over here thinking his life decisions on what, what they should add next, and that's pretty good, you know? I like how I like how this song really paid attention to details, like old references and details, and really didn't miss how much. I think this is why it compares to the other two. <laughs> uh, now we need Krusty, says Dushan. What the heck? Of, uh, of the songs, uh, in the way. I guess I'll explain more later, but anyway. Complaints. Ooh. Oh, well, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh! Sorry, I'm at the pause here. But anyway, yeah, look at that. You know, we got Helen and you got the king. Whoa! The In the king. background. The king, rock and roll, Elvis, okay? <laughs> and of course, this is where Gamer Helen starts her little history. Of course, she got the constantification skirt on. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty decent amount. Yeah. She doesn't have his vest anymore. Nice constantification reference, shirt. Helen. I don't think this is a reference from, like, the first design of the Rockstar. I've been thinking about that lately for a while. Maybe it's the mm. first reference from the first design, like, a Rockstar during the prototype mm. days of the development stage. I don't know. What do you guys think? Beats. Hmm. Oh, Ooh. Chickie, look at here. You know, you're like, Chucky, I'm like, girl, get <laughs> your dome, shut your soft <laughs> voice up. You already know, Helen, that I am coming for you. you <laughs> oh, boy. Look, you thought I was going to send you out that early, but look, Helen, you know damn well you did not play a part in the first history of Chuck and Jet. I mean, you kind of did, but still with the same way. You were just a guest star in the show. Don't think mm -hmm. you're that special, girl. You ain't that special. I mean, yeah, you kind of are 46 years old, but, but but still, Helen, you ain't that special in the group being the first guest star ever since the first opening <laughs> of May. You're out here talking about Chuck asked me to help him. I'm like, what? <laughs> huh? Girl, you don't sit yourself down, Helen. <laughs> sit down. No, just joking. Let's continue on. 
on. <laughs> yeah, continue on. Oh my god, this high pitched girl, what are you saying? <laughs> Steve Waters in the background, you notice that? Steve Waters. Steve Waters. Wait, hold on a second. We wasn't in New York in the storyline? What the f***, Chucky? <laughs> we went from New York to Tennessee to wherever the location was, but now we're say back in New York? So how do you met Helen? Was she in New York? I don't get <laughs> I think where so. Was the story? Where, where were we when we met Helen? What state were we in? Was we in... <laughs> In Mexico? Where were we? <laughs> that part confused me, man. Like, I don't get it. Who's that back in New York? Like, did we just win, like, talent scouting around? Did we just went to Hollywood? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. With our new friends, we took the stage to hmm. sing. We all did great. Yet Wait a second. Now Pasquale got the drums? <laughs> what the f? going on see this is why i don't follow this lore story because they they literally mess up everything with this storyline you cannot follow this lore they, that's that's forbidden but but oh man what you got the drums now bro what type of continuification plot twist sequel is this what is electric guitar and everything like what year are we in what year is mm. this? This is not 1990. This is a mix of 1990, 98, uh, 98, 92, 90, 80, 82, my bad, 82, 83, all mixed up all over the Something. place. Like, like what, what year are we in in this storyline? Because this storyline is all over the place. Like, I don't understand this. <laughs> I'm not talking about what year we're in. I don't know where this storyline taking place. Don't forget y'all in the comments. Y'all not helping out anymore. <laughs> Dang, Charles got you all. Oh. So we'll ask me a sing, Chucky. And then this purple monster alien thing. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Purple monster <laughs> alien thing. That's what we're calling it. Oh, look, it's my boy Arnie Antlers and Dolly Dimples. Okay, babe, yes. babe, babe, you got a keyboard. What the heck? With a keyboard still eating his lunch. And you allow him to come on stage, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Jumps on the stage and started playing too, and says, "I'm Mr. Munch." Munch! <laughs> you only got one line in this freaking song. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Munch. But if you don't shut your Hi, I'm Mr. Munch. Up. Why are you gonna come on stage naked? My boy, you got clothes on now, but you're out here being naked to the audience? No, actually, low key though, I can't really say that because Munch was always naked <laughs> since the beginning of his time. So, the reason Munch is wearing clothes now is a. Never mind, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother mm. day. Anyway, continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deshaun says, Well, Chuck didn't wear pants or shoes. And Jasper was barefoot. If a kid, if a kid out here steals something from Chuck E. Cheese, right? Don't say anything because this line said, Kids can do what they please, right? Okay. So yeah. if a kid steals from Chuck E. Cheese, you already know what that line just said. So don't at me because I'm saying this at this song because kids can do what they please. So I can't wait to see a kid go out and steal from Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> be kind of wrong because they're showing old faves artwork that's kind of a shame isn't it you got Loki think about it they're mm. showing old faves artwork here and there <laughs> like what phase four 
I think. Yeah, I think it's phase four artwork. Making memories every day. Don't say that. <laughs> oh, Harmony Hollow Eight. location was at. I mean, look, yeah. according to history, you know, like, this is why y'all don't really need to understand this lore story, because this is where the company really is messing up with your whole heads. Now, I <laughs> get the references. I love the reference how they finally acknowledged that, oh, the first location was in San Jose, California. And the Great. pizza time food place. Jesus oh. Christ, it's a small location. But, <laughs> that's great. Other the pizza that, time players. Don't ever listen to this lore. It's, it's kind of like, Mess up with your mind. Now I've been thinking lately about all the things we did. There's so many more things that you could have done, Chucky, but what's you gonna say? Hmm. And we'll still be here years from now. Where oh, yeah, hopefully. That's, that's, uh, that's very true. <laughs> I mean, that is very true. They'll still be here years from now where a kid can be a kid. Even yeah, hopefully. They'll we'll still be here 40 years from now. They said, and we'll still be here years from now where a kid can be a kid. Anyway. <laughs> like you said in their slogan. Where a kid can be a kid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's one from Chucky's Place 2017. There we go. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, we're winding that back. Mm, no, never mind. <laughs> Dude, I just spotted it for you. Chucky's Place 2017, see? Sounded so bad. Not to the characters. I'm talking about those kids. God dang, they don't sound great in the horrors. <laughs> hey! Oh, brother. Sing your heart out, Jasper! <laughs> and he stopped it right. Six later, they're still going strong. They're still going great. This artwork really needs to be promoted more, but yeah, yeah. God, I think I haven't listened to this in so long, and I still remember like half mm. of this, and that's sad. Me too. But anyway, that's it. That's uh, every boy, every girl, 2017. Very controversial song. The song is very controversial because thanks to CC, the storyline has now ruined half of our childhoods. You are so welcome. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that was great. That was totally great, you know. It's a lot of good memorable moments, references here and there. But, I mean, this, this is not the best song that they've done. This is not the best. No disrespect to Matt, but, again, the storyline haven't all changed. And if, if they really didn't do Chucky Bad being the orphan and stuff, it would be whole different. But, I mean, look, we're here now. We're in the future. We got so many different storylines with every character except for Bella because she don't have a storyline yet. She just came from Mexico as a as a student from transferred and stuff. But, I mean, that hmm. doesn't cut the chase either. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's totally great. Happy 40th 6th anniversary, CEC. So glad yes. you're still around and not dead like many other companies that are out there dead. Uh, will you see 50? Um, don't I don't really freaking know. know. You know, anything is possible for the future. <laughs> I don't know, but, but I kind of doubt it. Anyway, guys, that's a wrap for this commentary. This was a lot of fun. Not my favorite song, but hey, a lot of fun. But mm -hmm. anyway... Kind of how about now? In the meantime, oh hell no! <laughs> <laughs> hell no! <laughs> can't do that. What the heck? Me, I can't do that. But anyway, <laughs> what was that? And I'll explain why it after. I won't do that in the stream. Anyway, <clears throat> in the 
meantime, in the between time, sing with your kiddos. I want to say thank you. <laughs> no, no, actually, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to change this up tonight, okay? We're going to do something a bit different tonight, guys. We're going to do something a bit different tonight. We're not going to say thank you. We're going to yeah. we're gonna wish this rat a special 46. Happy 46th anniversary. Thank <laughs> you.